Bubba Nintendo back. GameStop Dumpster Dive number four. Christmas Day. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so I got up really early right before I was going to go over to dinner. And I was like, okay, so it's Christmas. Everything's closed. And why am I not at GameStop looking through their dumpsters? I can go all over town and not be interrupted. Bright and early. Bright, beautiful. Well, not sunshine, but it was nice and bright out today. So I figured I could see anything and everything in there. And guess what? It was worth it. Let's start off with this little gem. Nintendo DS Lite. Eh, it's pink, but oh well. It's a complete box. It's got all the inserts. It's got the cardboard. It's got the manuals. The only thing it doesn't have is the DS, but it's in great shape. Awesome. Next, we got Nintendo Wii manuals. They were out of package, and it came from a, a whole boxed Wii um, with all the inserts and stuff, but it was dirty. These were clean, so I grabbed them. Next. New in bag, Xbox 360 manuals. Nice. Next, we got some artwork and some booklets here. PS2, the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Need for Speed Underground artwork. Need for Speed Underground artwork, part 2. John Woo presents Stranglehold. Collector's Edition for the PS3. A little banged up, but this will look okay once it's in the case. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 10 for the Xbox 360. Nice and crispy. We got the artwork and the manual for Medal of Honor Limited Edition Xbox 360. And Need for Speed Underground Manual. Good shape. Oh, what's this? Metroid Other M for the Wii. It's a real Wii case. Oh, yeah. No booklet. Got some various cards here. A couple edge cards. Uh, GameStop gift card. And a gift card that's still attached to the package. Uh, I doubt these are going to have any value on them, but I always check. Sometimes I get about 30 cards in a bag. You never know. There could be 5 bucks on one of these. I think that's worth checking. So anyway, moving on. Here comes the juicy stuff. We got a whole bunch of cases. NCAA Football 11 for the PS3. No booklet. PS2, Nicktoons Battle for Volca Volcano Island with booklet. Metal Gear Solid 2. No booklet. MVP 07 NCAA Baseball with booklet. Siphon Filter Greatest Hits PlayStation 2 with booklet. Active Life Extreme Challenge for the Wii with booklet. Monster Jab Urban Assault with booklet. Nintendo Wii. Lord of the Rings Return of the King with booklet. And another Need for Speed Underground. They must have thrown about 30 of these out. It's got a crappier looking booklet, but nonetheless a booklet. All these come in official PlayStation cases. Next... Hold on to your socks, because guess what? They threw out whole games. First off, Gran Turismo 3, A-Spec. Disc, booklet, case, artwork. 100% complete. PlayStation 2, Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Complete. Corvette Racing, PlayStation 2, complete. Trigger Man, PS2, complete. Smuggler's Run, PS2, complete. Men in Black, 2, Alien Escape, missing the manual. Conflict Desert Storm, just the case. Oop, that belonged to the other pile. My bad. Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks, just the case and artwork, belongs in the other pile, again my bad. Next, the Ant Bully, minus the manual, has the disc. Next, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, complete. It comes with the best of, but the original case, so go figure. Next, PS2, The Hobbit, has the disc. 
no manual. And last but not least, GameCube NFL Blitz 2003 complete. All of these games here, some of them had to be buffed. I buffed them, but they are all in playable condition. Not bad. Now for the juicier stuff. Guess what was sitting in the garbage strapped to three games. PS2 analog controller. Don't know whether it works yet, but it's in great shape. This actually, I think, is aftermarket. It says DualShock 2, but it doesn't say PlayStation anywhere on here. So this could be aftermarket. It could be the real thing. I don't know. Anyway, we'll see if that works later. Got a couple of standees for the Nintendo DS. Looking pretty sweet. Good shape. The sword got bent a little bit, but heck, I think overall it's about a 90%. Golden Sun, Dark Dawn. It's a little kind of pop out. I think this belong on a uh, probably the top of a standee, but hey, I thought this sign was pretty neat. It's got a little bit of refractory color there. Next, accessory time. Got a Wii stand with the little plastic attachment. Let's see if I can pop this off. Take this on and off. Needs cleaned up, but hey, it's nice. I can use this. Next, got some posters for y'all bitches. Hunted the Demon's Forge. Nice. This is a small one. Coming soon. Next. We got Fallout New Vegas. Now available. Mega huge poster. This bad boy looked great on the wall. Here's my hand. Next to just this part of it is a big boy. Next. But certainly not last. Halo Reach, gigantic poster, beautiful. These have their normal factory holes in them, but they are sexy. No big bends, no big tears, no dog-eared corners, pristinely clean. And last but not least, Tron Evolution. This poster is pimpin'. These are going to look awesome in my game room. But anyway, I got more. Now for the extra special, juicy stuff. Had to do a little digging, but like I said, you go during the day and you can see a lot more. At night, eh, visibility is kind of shitty. So anyway, oh, what do we got here? Oh, a Nintendo GameCube. A little bit dirty, but hey, it's got all the bottom ports. It's got a black port cover here. Um... Nothing really clinking around loose in there, so who knows? This guy might work. Door pops up nicely. Even if it's an easy fix, hey. Oh, look at this. Another Nintendo GameCube. This door button kind of sticks on it, but oh well. It's got the missing port covers and some loose stuff inside here. But hey, two free GameCubes. Last but not least... A big boy PS2. He is missing the network adapter port cover. It's got a real dirty fan. Um, the video out is a little busted up. Um, and the cover for the disk drive piece here is busted off. But even for parts, you can sell these. Got a little refurbished sticker. It's probably a a uh, factory refurb. You can tell it's been opened up. It's got some missing feet here where they accessed. It's got one missing screw. Who cares? Free. Next, a gift from my brother-in-law because Dan the man, he's another gamer. Awesome dude. We got for the PS1 complete Soul Blade. This is a little rough, but it is playable. I love this game. Namco, awesome titles. Next, we got Complete Tomb Raider for the PS1. Again, this is a little rough, but as long as it works, that's all I care about. 
and this big bad boy right here. Not complete. Case is a little busted. Street Fighter Alpha 2. Awesome title. Uh, when I get my PS2 up and running, I'm going to have some nice PS1 titles to play. And uh, when I'm done, I might pass them on. Who knows, I might keep them. I've had these games, sold them probably a few times. But last but not least, oh, forgot one thing. Complete Nintendo DS Let's Draw. Um, complete minus the disc, my bad. It's in good shape, though. Case looks clean. Uh, as an update, that Mario and Sonic at the Winter Olympics for the DS, I sold that case for $9 on eBay. That's what I'm talking about. And, uh, hey, by the dumpster, I saw something uh, green out of the corner of my eye, and I was like, what is that? And I got closer, and I was like, holy crap. It's an Apple G3 tower. <laughs> Uh, case is in excellent condition. Someone set it outside. Uh, looks like it's probably been used in an office for a good long time. Don't know if it works yet. I have not powered it up. Uh, don't know what operating system it has, but check this out. Front's got a DVD-ROM drive and a zip drive. That's kind of cool. So even if I just play around with this thing and sell it for parts, um, who knows, maybe I could use this for some kind of mod. This thing's a beauty. Never had an Apple. Uh, actually, excuse me, my bad. I did have a uh, a G3 laptop, I believe. But this is my first tower. Pretty sweet. Anyway, I'm going to go uh, reflect on these awesome finds. You guys have a great Christmas. Bubba Nintendo, banging, slanging. I'll see you next time.